Hi, boys and girls. Today, Thursday, March 11th, I had to check my calendar. We're doing Little Cloud by Eric Carl. I love Eric Carl books. He's one of my favorite authors, and he also illustrates these amazing pictures. Little Cloud by Eric Carl. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little cloud trailed behind. The clouds pushed upward and away. Little cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the houses and trees. The clouds moved out of sight. Little cloud changed into a giant cloud. Little cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Little cloud changed into an airplane. Little cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Little cloud changed into a shark. That's right. Little cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. She was traveling above looking down. Little cloud changed into two trees. Little cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little cloud changed into a rabbit. Little cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then little cloud changed into a hat because little cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called, come back. Little cloud drifted towards the other clouds. And then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and rained. The end. Today in your reading journal, we're gonna draw something that the cloud changed into. Draw something from the story, the rabbit, or a tree, or you can pick something else and do something from your own imagination. So take out your reading journal and open to, oops, we did the very next blank page. And we are gonna also do the sentence scramble, look at the little cloud, we'll do that one right after. Today, take out your pencil for reading work and you can have your grown up write your, or you can try to write your date as 3 11 20 21. The T H E spells the little cloud. changed into a, and you can say, I'm gonna make up my own. I liked how the little cloud looked down below at different things and guess, I'm gonna do the blue sky behind the cloud and the outline White is really hard to obviously use on white paper, so I'm going to outline it in black, and you might be able to guess. What my little cloud changed into and then Mrs. Osmer is going to fill in all the blue around this white spot. So that it does look like the little white cloud. Do you know what I did? A little cloud changed into a flower. You're right. So please don't do what I'm doing. You don't have to do the same one as me. You can do anything that you liked from the story. Or you can think of anything on your own. There was a shark. There was a clown. There were trees. A rabbit, like I said. A hat the airplane, and a sheep. So you take your time to draw. And here's the sentence starter if you need help with it again. 
the little cloud changed into, and then draw your own picture, changed into a car, changed into a train, whatever you think the little cloud might see from above and change into. That's one part. If you need to pause it so you can keep that sentence started, go right ahead. The next activity, just to make sure everybody knows what to do, it is another sentence scramble. So you'll cut out your word tiles and write on the dotted lines once again. And why I like to count them one, two, three, four, five. Five words again. This time it doesn't have the boxes like yesterday. So we're going to have to put them in order and find the one that goes first and one that goes last. So which one starts with the uppercase letter? Look. This one is cloud because there's the sentence. Look at the little cloud. We're going to trace it. And we found look. And then we find at a t match it up if you need help the t h e spells the little cloud trace and then you can bring it all nicer together to glue and then write one more Make sure you use finger spaces between your words. A spaceman leaves a space for you. And put your name at the top. Good work, everyone. See you soon.